Welcome back to my channel, Divine Timeless Cosmic Tarot. If this is your first time coming across this video, I'm glad you stopped scrolling. Hopefully you will go so far as to click on the video. Nine times out of 10, Spirit guided you here for a reason, a season. Maybe there's something that you need. Maybe you're stopping by or maybe you're just passing through. Whatever it is, I hope that you bring with you your intuition, your best discernment. Come in with what it is that you already know and also what it is that you need to know because maybe most of what you need to know is on a need to know basis. That could have been a little tricky. They could have gone over somebody's head. That's okay. Bring your intuition and your discernment. Bring your spirit team and let's get to what it is that we need to get to. If you're returning back to the channel, you are my beautiful, amazing so tribe. And I love you so much. I send you love and light. The sun, big Leo energy coming out the gate. The sun represents joy, tranquility, happiness, peace, love, abundance. Matters of the heart, Leo rules the heart. You are being honest with yourself. The star, a lot of you are watching Tarot. Maybe it's the seasons. Maybe it's the holiday season and you're cozying up watching, you know, some Tarot by way of a playlist. Hopefully you downloaded my playlist and you're just binge watching some good Tarot on this platform or maybe somewhere else. But Page of Wands, baby, I feel like the information is real, real clear. Page of Wands is about gathering information. The star energy is public eye energy. Big high priestess energy. The stars are here shining so brightly. In your rightful position, I just heard. Doing what it is that you need to do. Helping people to see things differently with the hangman, hey big Piscean energy. Why is that hangman hey there? Maybe somebody didn't see you as being gifted and talented. Now somebody's seeing you as a gift from the divine with the Ace of Cups. Okay, listen, you could be looking at a situation differently too, Divine Collective. Okay, what is this? Why is that Ace of Cups there? Yeah, listen, somebody's holding back something. Okay, somebody is not telling you that you are their wish fulfillment. This could be a friend or, I don't know, I'm getting somebody's holding back information. Or you could be holding back information about a new beginning with the Page of Wands, being very selective about who you share your energy with. I feel like overall energy, people are watching a lot of tarot, like a lot. <laughs> They're getting their confirmations and their clarifications. And it's funny because a lot of you are realizing that we are channeling some of the same energies, not the Divine Collective realizing that, but people that are just watching, looking for their soul tribe. But something about the hangman, seeing something from a different perspective, somebody, maybe they didn't respect the fact that you were a reader. Yeah, you took a leap of faith on something. You trusted in the divine. For some of you, this could be religious people, people that want to hold you to some type of religious idea of how you're supposed to represent the divine. Whatever this is, the fool, somebody's watching you take a leap of faith towards something that you believe in. I can't make this up. With the eight of pentacles, toil and labor. This is your job. This is what you're here to do. So if you're working online, doing something by way of tarot or just giving people information, somebody's seeing something from a different perspective. Somebody misjudged you. Mm-hmm. Somebody misjudged what it is that you do for work. Nine of pentacles, single and self-sufficient, big Virgo energy, ten of swords. Somebody actually went so far as to betray you okay this could be gossip talking about you saying that something wasn't going to work or maybe that you weren't the real deal or something like that with the star though in the page of wands you're giving some type of information if you're not a reader you're doing something where you're giving like teaching or something like that or people are learning from you who is this ten of swords why is that ten of swords there who is that person? Yeah, somebody collaborated. It's a Virgo that could have collaborated against you. This person was hiding out or hiding something, okay, and private. Or you could be the Virgo. No, Spirit says there's a Virgo that was doing some type of work against you. The Hermit, 
This person was working in private, possibly talking about you behind your back. Three of Pentacles to other people, trying to get other people to see you a certain way. And now they're feeling regretful with the hangman. I feel like it brought a lot of attention to who you are. Whatever you're doing online, okay? Somebody could do taxes. Yeah, whatever it is, is you're happy. Ten of Cups. Soul Tribe Energy. It's, it's something that you are doing that's providing all of your needs with the Ten of Cups. Clarify what's going on, Holy Spirit. What is, what is the situation about? Yeah, Queen of Swords Energy. Queen of Swords speaks the truth. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini Energy. Somebody's birthday could be in February. Your birthday could be in February. Okay, you got unexpected income. Something's working out for you. And somebody didn't think that you were going to be successful. That hangman and that ten of swords is screaming betrayal. Uh, trying to defame your character. Somebody could have been gossiping. Somebody could have been talking. That ain't going to work. I don't know why this person's doing this. You know, they're stupid like that. You took a leap of faith and you're betting on yourself. And now you're self-sufficient. Single with the nine of pentacles, child and the eight of pentacles. Somebody is like in this slow and steady wins the race. Child, who is this person that was talking about you? Who is this person? Yeah, two of swords trying to confuse people. Could have been a Libra. You could be a you could be an Aquarius, Pisces, Pisces, Aquarius. Okay. Big Aquarius energy, whatever this is, you're doing something in the public eye. Two of swords. People, people were watching you with the with the hangman, seeing you in a different perspective, a different light. It's almost like somebody talking behind your back saying something really mean. But then people are seeing you in a different perspective. You're coming up as the Ace of Cups, a gift, somebody that's inspiring people, uh, a gift to people. You're sharing your gifts. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, listen, at the bottom of the doggone deck, Two of Swords. Somebody wanted people indecisive about how they should feel about you, okay, to give you the bare minimum with the Knight of Pentacles. But it appears as though you're reaping the, the fruits of your labor. Child, what is this about? What's going on, Spirit? What happened? Yeah, people are thinking about what they were saying about you. With the, with the Two of Pentacles, this is almost like somebody weighing their options, taking the truth and sifting through the truth and the lies and getting half-truth about you and something that they were told. Now people are watching you making their own decision and people like you. Wow, the Chariot, somebody's watching you like be very courageous, okay? Something about your willpower, your determination. You're determined to get something done. You're determined to build something great. Child, somebody was doubting your power, honey. Somebody with no authority and no power. You're coming up as the Empress. Thank you, Spirit. Tor Big Taurus, Libra, and Energy. And the Hierophant. Big Taurus, Energy. Somebody's in the public eye. Something that you're doing in the public eye, you could be a spiritualist. I've been getting a lot of uh, High Priestess Energy lately, y'all. For those of you that have just started your platforms, that you're building your platforms, okay? This is like recent energy. Somebody's watching you work. Somebody's watching you build something very beautiful and you're happy with the sun. Like it's something about enjoying what it is that you love to do. Something about having the passion to do what it is that you love. Somebody is like, was like planning for you to fail. Thank you. And you did everything but. Don't you love it? I love a good underdog story. I love a, I love a good, you know, you can't do this type of person. Like, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going to never be nothing. Oh, I love it when people think like that. I love it. I love it when I see the underdog win. Because you were never the underdog. You were always the top dog. Okay? You're coming up as the empress, the hierophant. Listen, what is going on? Somebody could also be pregnant. Yeah, this, this, you ended this. Look at this. You left somebody there fighting with themselves. Somebody said, you ain't going to never make it. You're not going to do this. But I feel like somebody did this in private. I don't feel like this person was bold enough to confront you with this nasty ass energy. I just, I, I, it's just, I, it's just, I'm getting cowardly. I'm not getting, you know, somebody's balls are big enough to try to box with you. Okay. With the five of swords, child, they feel defeated by whatever this is that you created. And you ended a cycle with them and closed the door. You're like, that's fine. You can take your stinking thinking somewhere else. Talk to people that want to listen to you and believe it. That's fine. And that's what they did. They collaborated with other vexatious people and other naysayers and talked about you. Ten of Swords talked about you bad with the Ten of Swords, honey. And you left them there and you said, close the door behind you. Let the doorknob hit you where the good 
Lord, split your punk ass, okay? That's what you said. Order the court. Listen, I'm just saying, we call down judgment. But I don't even think we need to do that. Who's this five of swords? These people are mad, bitter, because they can't go with you now. But they talked about you so bad. Look at death. You put endings to their bullshit. You know, this is giving, I can show you better than I can tell you. If somebody didn't believe in you. The car's just flying all over the place. You got the queen of pentacles. Yeah, look at you. Somebody was projecting illusions, lying about you, defaming your character. The goal was to bring you down. Clarify this person. Now this person's sitting up looking crazy. Look, they're attacking you verbally. Running their mouth, talking about you. Knight of swords, air energy. You could be a water sign, Aquarius energy. I consider Aquarius to be a water sign, air sign, but I do consider them to be a part of the water sign family. Listen, you're the empress, so baby, you're all the signs. You're the king of wands, king, queen of wands. You're the queen of cups, king of cups. You're all the kings and queens. Let's just say, and so on and so on. And somebody was attacking your character verbally, not a sword. Somebody was running that mouth. Could have been an air sign. Don't necessarily have to be. Or somebody was just putting something in the air. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Two of swords. They wanted people confused about you. It's like misery loves company. They didn't want people to see you as beautiful and radiant. And here you are. Didn't I just say you're coming up as a queen of wands? Very attractive. Okay? Queen of wands is like confident. Queen of wands don't give a damn. Can I just be honest? A healthy Queen of Wands in the upright is somebody that gives no dams. They have no more to give to nobody. They're all out of dams, all out of fudges, okay? Whatever you want to call it, somebody closed the door respectfully and went to work. While somebody was over here running their mouth, talking about something that they weren't getting paid to talk about, trying to convince other people that you weren't this and you weren't that, you were busy staying focused on what it is that you're doing in the chariot with willpower moving forward. Child, the eight of pentacles, staying focused on your work with the fool taking a leap of faith in the sun and you're very, very happy and you balanced out the bullshit. Now people are weighing what it is they said about you. You know what you said. Listen, that was a real commercial break. Now you show up looking like new money, shining and looking good. Hey, people have to see you in a different light. Even if they don't want to, they have to eat their words. Somebody's eating crow. Yeah, somebody was running that mouth too fast. Nine of Pentacles, and you single and self-sufficient, child, these people are losing it. You left these people out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Some of these people could be financially strapped. Didn't I just say they weren't getting paid for the bullshit? Somebody can't even pay attention, okay? Somebody was running their mouth, talking about you. Betrayal, I can see it very, very clearly. A blind man could see that these people were raggedy and somebody just found weaker people. That's it. It's not that this person was convincing by any means of trying to defame your character or convince people of who you were or who you weren't or whatever this is. Somebody just found weak ass people. Like, yes, you are the weakest link and you found other weak links. Meanwhile, you're over here finding the golden links in your chain of good. Okay, well, that was a commercial break. This is a little triggering for me. Maybe I can relate, yeah. You call down judgment on they punk ass. You stay focused on what it is that you're doing. Somebody is like, what? And you're enjoying yourself. With the sun, you're having a really good damn time, man. I sure can support you in the energy. Child, we done broke the doggone gavel. You see how, listen, I rebuke this in the name of the most high God. Listen, child, maybe somebody fell apart. Maybe that's a sign. I don't know. But somebody's a jackass. Somebody feels stupid. Clarify the judgment, because we call down judgment on these people. Running their mouth, now they gotta watch you win in the nine and the 10 of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. They gotta watch you be in this self-love energy. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, spirit, what else is going on? Yeah, the nine of cups, I can't make it up. They're watching you get your wishes fulfilled. This is what happens when you have stick to -itiveness, diligence, when you mind your own business, when people gossip about you, let them. They said you're not going to be shit. Let them. They keep saying that you ugly, you this, you that, you broke, you poor, you'll never be. Let them. Because only the only thing that they're doing is manifesting the five of pentacles for themselves. While you were busy working, whistling while you work, somebody was somewhere working for free. And like I said, all of what they put in couldn't stop you from getting to what it is that you got going on. You left these people behind with the three of wands. 
You're looking to the future. Three of Wands is about foresight, making plans. What is it that I want to be now? Who is it that I want to be now? Who am I conceiving myself to be with the Nine of Wands after coming out of these wounded warrior situations where you had to defend your character no more? You said, I no longer want to be around people that I got to defend my character with. With the Three of Wands and the, and the Nine of Wands, you're guarding and protecting your peace. Three of Wands is foresight. Nine of Cups, your wishes are being fulfilled, child, and people can't negate the fact that you are the real deal. Child with the hangman, people turning to the left, turning to the side. They're looking at you from all kinds of different angles. The Most High said, that's fine. Listen, Seven of Pentacles, <laughs> just like you're heavily invested in your work, somebody who was heavily invested in some bullshit, you got something where you're reaping the benefits and somebody got what they put in, which is bullshit. Running that mouth, talking about nothing. I can't make it up. You got the hell away from these people and you healed. You got the nerve to heal in the middle of all this abundance and you looking all beautiful and good and handsome. If you're a masculine, take what resonates. Six of Swords, you were guided by Swords to move on and sail to calmer waters. Somebody hates the fact that you're over it. <laughs> Whatever it is, that shit's in the Five of Pentacles. Clarify what's going on, Holy Spirit. We <laughs> thank you. Oh, and you're meeting new people. Look at you out here being the social butterfly that you are. You're so social. You're meeting new people to a cups, okay? This could be a friend friend or a friend friend or a friend friend, you know, depending on what level of friendship this is. It's something new and it's equal give and take. Clarify the two of cups. Yeah, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. You're using your intuition. You got the King of Wands energy and the High Priestess energy. Honey, listen, the King of Wands is a leader. You're some type of spiritual teacher, leader, okay? Piscean energy with the High Priestess. I can't make this up. You know, when you're the Empress, you're all the signs, you know? So if you see Gemini, Taurus, all that, you're all that. You're like, yes, that's me. Oh, yes, there's Aquarius, that's me too. Oh, Capricorn, of course, that's me as well. One thing you're not is this Ten of Swords, okay? And you're not the Three of Swords, and somebody's heartbroken. Somebody thought that you weren't going to be anything. You could have shared your dreams with somebody. Yeah. Now you're reaping the benefits of your labor. Page of Pentacles, good news about money, reaping the benefit, and somebody didn't think you was going to make it. Child, I can't make this up. Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth, my love. Justice is here. Things are being made fair. Good karma is on your side. Ace of Swords and Justice, you're telling the truth. You're coming up as an earth angel. Somebody patient, loving, kind. Archangel Michael is protecting you. Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, thank you, thank you, thank you. Temperance. Temperance represents patience, love, kindness, balance. Uh, somebody that, you know, in spite of what people were saying, you stay focused in a positive way. Congratulations, child. These people wanted you to be stressed out, messed up, tore up from the floor up. Listen, order in the motherfucking court. Listen, this is them now. They wanted you to be like that, but this really wanted to come up in the reverse. So all of what they're projecting and saying about you is now what they're going through. Thank you, spirit. Was that a question or a statement? I feel like that, that was a rhetorical comment. The nine of swords, somebody's stressed out because they can't back up all this gift of gab, all this gossip, all this slander, all this you ain't gonna never be nothing. Ten of swords is malicious at best. Somebody really went above and beyond to over offer, over deliver information to people when they weren't even asking about you. Oh, did you hear about such and such? And they're like, what? They're just over, like, you know, um, conversing with people, offering information for no reason just to drum up the bullshit. So bullshit is what they got. Now they sit up looking stupid. Somebody's like, oh, well, I thought you said this person was broke. I thought you said this person was this. I thought you said, I heard this person is getting exactly what they deserve with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is equal give and take from you and the universe. The universe is paying you out what you deserve because you're diligent, you're focused, you're not feeding the bullshit. This is what it looks like when you mind your own business and stay in your own lane, child. Ooh, ten of swords, honey. Somebody tried to betray you. Somebody from your past could have been a lover. This person was a third party situationer. Is that a word? Situationer. We're going to make it one, okay? Somebody loved third party situations. Somebody didn't see the benefit of who you were. Look at this. You're a whole magician. 
You're somebody that's manifested a whole new reality. One thing that you've manifested that is for certain is healing, intuition, a partnership with self, joy, peace, moving forward, letting bygones be bygones, surrendering that which no longer serves your highest good, and you came out as the doggone empress. Child, I got out of here. Six of Cups, look at this. Somebody from the past, child. That's why they're in the past, period. Three of Cups situation. These are people that you could have celebrated with. Somebody could have had you in a third party situation with the lovers. Now you're loving on self. And this person is sad, heartbroken, messed up, screwed up, tired, lying. Yeah, four wives, child. You got something, something coming through. I don't know if y'all are buying new houses or what you're doing. But something good is coming in for you, okay? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Empress, Divine Feminine. Somebody's coming in to make you some type of an offer. Divine Masculine, if you're in the public eye, whatever you're doing, somebody's watching you. Somebody could do something in finances. I just see somebody that's really good at what they do. And somebody built their own business from the ground up when people told them that they couldn't. This is what I see. If this has not happened yet, this is something that you're starting and this is foresight. But I really believe that you've done a whole lot more than what people had anticipated. You're financially secure and it's bringing in money. Death, I can't make this up. You are not the same person. Yeah, now you're just somebody that they used to know. They didn't have to cut you out. Speaking nasty on your name, but they didn't. Okay, listen, I could have gone a little bit deeper. Somebody didn't have to curse you out, try to curse your life, speak nasty over your name. Child, the whole while you went into Hermit and you went through a whole transformation. This is how you do it, okay? That's how you do it. Somebody doesn't like it, don't matter. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you got unexpected income. Whatever this is, you're already in the Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficient. So whatever monies you have that you're having faith in sowing into yourself, it's going to multiply. This is what Spirit is saying. Yeah, look, Eight of Wands, some type of communication is coming through. Let's just find out. Is it from the past? Is it from the bank? Is it from a grant? Is it something about your business? What is it? Yeah, you ain't listening to these people. This is what's so funny. You got the Eight of Wands, communication coming through. But the seven of wands is you standing your ground with your intuition, the most high God, and your ancestors. Ain't nobody got time for the bullshit. Seven of wands is standing your ground. You're like, uh-uh, you don't block. These people are blocked, honey. Look at the way this person is blocking these people down here. Do you see all these wands? Look at how they're blocking people. Shabba, you ain't paying attention to these people. You're not feeding this, you're not feeding this at all. You're letting people say and think what they want to say. And that's why they're in the nine of six. Child, just for shits and giggles, clarify the nine of swords because they're getting some type of information that you are this big inspiration. Ace of Wands is somebody that's inspiring people to do something. Some of you could be trainers. Some of you are like, I don't know what you're doing. I'm getting a big TikTok following, okay? Big TikTok. If you're on TikTok, baby, they know because your tick is talking and it's clocking some dollars and somebody's counting your money. Never count anybody's money. It's the worst thing you can do. <laughs> Never spend money that's not in your hand yet. You know, I used to always have people promise me stuff. I'd be like, oh, okay, I got to go to work. <laughs> like, I don't count money that's not in my hand. Not yet. That don't make no sense. But nevertheless, somebody was spending your money, okay? Now they're in the Five of Pentacles. Somebody thought they could spend the block and that you weren't going to find out about what they were doing in secret. The Three of Pentacles is like a quiet conversation, a secret you know, conversation, gossip, phone call, text messages, betrayal, nasty ass conversation, speaking real nasty over you, child. And it's a tower on that punk ass for the gossip. This does conclude this reading of more raggedy ass people that were left out in the cold. To all of the beautiful Divine Collective, congratulations. I am so very proud of us for leaving these people out in the cold. It's been a minute, y'all, that I've had to leave anybody out in the cold. So I feel like this is current energy for somebody that's like right now. This could have been over the recent year or two or just, hell, yesterday, maybe two minutes ago. I don't know. Whatever it is, you're building something amazing. And it's so funny the way God revealed to you the nature of these people so that you would know who to share this abundance with, right? It's something about divine timing. 
You know, when you think about why you didn't get something at the time that you got it, it was all because you didn't have the right people around you. The most I was like, let me clear house first and then we'll have a conversation. And that's exactly what happened. The most I cleared these people out of your way, showed you who they were and then moved you to calmer waters so that you could reap the benefits of your labor by way of standing in your own power and being obedient to source. That's what's up. I support the energy. I love y'all. Take what resonates and leave the rest. 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 Take what resonates and leave the rest and leave the rest. Leave the rest. I went too far. I went too far. I love y'all. I'll see you soon. Peace be with you.